Hey right, guys, I'm Kai Willis from Storm Free Run, and today I'm going to teach you how to do the parkour roll. Alright guys, so for the first progression of this, you're going to get down on one knee with one foot forward. Using the same hand as the leading foot, you're going to tuck that hand underneath in the arch of the foot. Put the other hand forward, tuck your chin into your chest, and then pushing with the back leg, just go over into a roll. Notice how the roll is both not a forward roll and not a barrel roll, but going across the back at an angle. By using this progression, it should help you to be able to roll across the right angle on your body, avoiding all the bony bits. Ideally, you're going to roll from one shoulder to the opposite hip, that way avoiding too much of your spine and too many bony bits that stick out. Notice as I come out, I'm still holding my foot the whole time and this leg is crossed in underneath me. And then as I'm coming out, I'm putting my other hand down on the floor to help push forward and continue the momentum. Try not to stand on your fingers. Pull your hand out and stand up. And you've completed your first roll. Okay, so for the second step of progression, we're gonna work on hand placement. So again, go down onto one knee with one foot forwards. And then instead of putting your hand underneath your foot this time, you're going to reach this hand forward and this other hand is going to match it at a 90 degree angle. Tuck your chin into your chest. Make sure you keep the chin on the chest the whole time until you come out the other side. Duck in and come out on the roll. There's a few things that you should really make sure you avoid when doing the parkour roll. Of course, the most important is to make sure you don't hit your head. Just keep your chin tucked into your chest and that's never going to happen. Notice how my hand is not coming underneath my foot, it's up here near my head. As I'm coming out, I'm ready to reach down to the floor and help push me up into the standing position so that I can run out. Another really big safety aspect to consider is the fact that your shoulder is coming in and driving into the ground. So you want to make sure that you're actually tucking the shoulder in, making the ground first contact with you on your back here, not on the top of the shoulder, which would push your shoulder out. So for the third progression, we're going to start from a standing position. This time it's getting much closer to the actual roll, so you have to start to be more careful with your head. Make sure you're tucking your chin into your chest and protecting it as much as possible. Okay, so you want to make sure you're standing with one leading leg forward, the same leading leg that you used to have before. And as you're bending down, you're putting your hand in that same position we did in the previous progression. So you're reaching down into that position and pushing over and then back up. If you're finding this version a little bit too difficult, don't be afraid to go back to progression two and keep working on that until you've got the roll honed in. It's gonna make it a lot easier when you come to stand up and go into it this way. So for this fourth progression, we're actually gonna add a small drop. This is gonna get you used to adding momentum into the roll. So for the first few times you do this, you wanna make sure you choose something really small. It's just to initiate that momentum and give you an idea of what it actually feels like to roll out of impact. So from the takeoff position, you're aiming to jump and land into the position that you start at when you do the standing roll from the previous progression. So you don't want to jump and land two feet and then step forward and roll, because that kind of defeats the point of the roll. You want to make sure you're jumping and as you're landing, you're already landing in that position, ready to initiate the roll. So as I take off, I'm jumping, landing with my feet separated and already initiating the beginning of the roll. Notice that as I land, I'm not resisting very much with my legs. I'm mostly just pushing forwards, ready to get the roll going as quickly as possible. I'm not trying to land and absorb the impact. I'm trying to push the force straight away into the roll and dissipate the force across the whole of my body. Also notice how much my chest is over my feet when I'm landing. I'm not landing straight up and then going into the roll. Because my chest is over, it's really helping to initiate the roll, to initiate that transfer of force. Also, you want to make sure that you're not over compressing on the landing. You really want to use the roll to absorb the force, not using the landing itself. To get the angle across your back right takes a lot of practice and a lot of time and effort. Don't be frustrated if you don't get it straight away. Just keep putting the time in and you'll get it for sure. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to Storm for more content. We've got more tutorials coming every Tuesday. Also, click that little bell next to the subscribe button and you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Also give us a comment in the comment section down below what tutorial you want to see in next week's episode. We'll make sure to check it out. And definitely check out the links in the description. There's a link to our Patreon if you want to help support us to make more videos like this. And there's also a link to our shop where you can get some Storm Free On training clothing.